Now, here are the remarkable members of KISS. And first of all, Mr. Uh, Gene Simmons, who is the bass player, <laughs> who is the bass player. Uh, Mr. Peter Chris, who is the drummer. Mr. Paul Stanley, who is the guitarist. And Ace Freely, who is the lead guitarist. I'm not the lead I'm the trout player. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell how this started, you know, because uh, Gene came in and he said, I didn't know I played bass. And I said, well, I see Ackroyd on Saturday Night Live with the, with the bass fish, and then you say the trout player. I have to excuse it. Bass. Bass. Yes, bass. Been called bass. Many things, but not bass. bass. Never a bass I player. Never a bass player. What would happen if you went out on stage for a concert, and you didn't set off the fireworks, and you didn't break up the guitar, and you didn't have the smoke and the fire and the blood and all that, and you just came out and did your thing? What would, what, would they it come would to still the concert? Be a, it would still be a rip-roaring rock and roll show, because what we do... When we go out there is we don't stand still when we play our instruments. We run around and pretty much raise hell. Can we say that on TV? Yes, you can. Well, well we raise hell. TV. I have medals from, you know, early Past days in high school. Medals. Track, yeah. you know, track. And I'm sure we're very, we're oh, four trophy. very athletic young gentlemen. No, I think <laughs> incredible. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is our thing. You know, going out like this. So if we didn't go out like this, a lot of people would be really disappointed because KISS is known for the big show. So... Why shouldn't we go out and do what people expect? How does what you do now in concert, what we saw on the videotape, and I'm assuming that that's reasonably recent, mm -hmm. how does it differ from when KISS first went out on stage? Did you come out with this tremendous energy right from, from day number the one? The energy was there, the equipment wasn't. We used to go out and we wanted everybody to think we were famous and that we were very big, so we used to have amplifiers that were empty because we couldn't afford speakers. That's but we, I remember that. We'd pile them against the walls and we'd tell the lighting man, don't put a light on them because you could see these see circles. Right them, right? You could see where the speakers were. The energy was always there. When we used to play little clubs, we started out playing in Amityville, Long Island, <laughs> and uh, we always said, this is the garden. You know, every night we play. Peter yeah, said this was the garden. I Peter wasn't did. credit for that. In fact, we re I remember opening up for lots of bands that had uh, half the equipment. Oh, I see there's a live human being over there. Half the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> right here in front of us. Wait a second, wait a second. Have you recorded your laugh? No, we want to, though. They've you must you know, These guys have been talking about recording my laugh. We've done 15 albums. They've never done it. Maybe on the 16th album they will do it. I think you recorded it on your solo album. You did. did Absolutely you not. Why no, he didn't. You know. Ace has been saving it for, for a kiss. That wasn't like. my real laugh. That was just a, a compilation of... You know. All right, upcoming and future <laughs> right, kiss right. albums. Ace Fraley's right. Let me right. Right. You were uh, saying something. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, all right, fine. No, I know what it was. We, uh, we, when we first started out, we had so much equipment that the other bands... Wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> we had no equipment. We were broke. <laughs> oh, you remember the Marshall we Amps? Oh, the phony Marshall Amps were That's incredible. Right. Phony Marshall Amps. And we used to open up for these bands that had nothing. All they had were guitars and drums, and we had this six-foot logo, and this was way back in 74. <laughs> and uh, people just used to get very, very angry at the fact that we could come out, put on a... We had a levitating drum set. Wait, we were wait, still doing a 30... Funny. It would go up six feet, but there was like guys with ropes. Leaving <laughs> <laughs> it from falling over, pulling me up, you know? And if we didn't get the guys for that night, the drums were going up. We, when we first started out, we used to play clubs, and the drums would go up, and Peter would be like this, and the ceiling would be getting lower and lower. And I used to tell that the guys, true. don't lift me anymore. They still keep going at it. No, but actually, sometimes it was it worked on a chain drive, the first uh, levitating drum set that we had. <laughs> and sometimes it would skip. Gotcha. Have you ever had a 10 speed uh, bicycle? Surely. You would go up like that. And then you'd drop it. And my heart would drop with it. And we, you know, we all felt for Peter. Yeah. <laughs> well, we played along with it, though, you know. In fact, the first time. <laughs> we you know, that's part of the show. You can never let on. <laughs> I'm glad you guys did. When we first started playing, <laughs> we had to get used to wearing these kind of shoes. <laughs> and Ace, Ace is notorious for his bad balance. <laughs> and, uh,. One, maybe the first couple of months that we were on tour, invariably, once a night, you would hear a thud on stage and you would look and Ace would be <laughs> sprawled out. out. And Way being left. troopers, we would run over and play these over. These guys like it was were incredible. The, uh, it was if I would fall on stage, career. these guys would run over to me and make believe like it was part of the show. They'd stand over me and we'd do like this. <laughs> As you know, I'm looking up and they're looking down. We put the guitars together and bounce them People off and would turn love around. It. There goes the lead guitar. Well, that's part of the show. When you see the audience going crazy, what goes through your minds? Do you have time to think about audience reaction while you're performing? I feel like I'm in a movie. I always yeah. get the feeling that, that, you know, without comparing ourselves to anybody else, it's almost like the mid-60s, <laughs> like we're in a Beatle kind of movie. And we're not even playing ourselves because, I mean, when you realize that a lot of the people at the show have been waiting three or four months to come see us, and this is like the big night for them. And when you, when you see all these people screaming and crying and all that 
I spent all his money. <laughs> this is it. He goes up in the air. He walks out of here. True oh. confession time. Right? Huh? True, True confession, confession time. Right? <laughs> Exclusive <laughs> on the Tom Snyder program. That was great. You'll suffer in the dressing room. <laughs> Wh whose idea was Kiss? Who invented Kiss? We all did. We all, we all did, all, yeah. We've been to, Gene and I were together for about nine years now. Not but... sexually, just to... <laughs> That's the later part we of the program. Yeah. I, want to, yes. I want to slip it past yeah, 120, and then we'll, right then we'll get into the drugs and, you know, and all that stuff. No, 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 no none no. of that. Okay. No. I don't take drugs. Mom? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Go ahead. No, you were saying nine years. Yeah, we've been together about, about nine years, and then we broke up a band we were in, and Peter joined us, and then Ace joined us, and uh, the rest is... Kiss story. We always wanted. Kiss I, I always wanted. Christmas. It's like everything is kiss. Really? Kiss no. Kiss story. The thing was, we always wanted theatrics and music together. I did by myself. We're still and hoping for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, and finally I met these two nuts, and they wanted it. And just, we picked him off the Bowery. Tom McCann, 398 special. That was it. Uh, can I just go around the horn here and start with Gene and tell me where you're from and where you went to school. All right, I've got, I've got a question to ask you. My manager's off stage. Is this true confession time or am I on? No, you're, you're, just you're right. really on. All right. Then uh, I'm from New York City. I'm from... <laughs> I'm from Wait a second. Wait a minute. They're not on. Okay. Queens. <laughs> I'm from Queens, New York. Uh, actually, not too far away from Paul's house. We kind of used to wait, wave to each other before we knew. <laughs> That's right. You're before we knew right. each other, I'd see this guy waving back. I'd wave. Gene went to uh, telescopes. Telescopes. <laughs> he loves Mom, it. Huh? Ace loves it. Ace now, loves now, anything. Can I tell you something? Oh, funny? I could beat up before by before the you slides. guys before you guys came on. They gave me a little sheet on each one of you to read. You know where you're from and how you grew up and blah blah blah. And the notes said. Now, Ace seems to be the most laid back of the, of the four, and he's the one who'll probably be the hardest to make talk. Now, you want to... You, you, you want to... Well, this is not Ace. Oh, this is George. Oh, this is George. This is George. I'm an imposter. Ace is back in his ass. That's true. <laughs> we, got, we got our roadmap. Who's on first? What's on second? You know what I mean? Listen, Tom, about that swampland in uh, New Jersey you were wondering about. You grew up in New York. You all, you all grew up in different parts. All I grew up in the Bronx, Brooklyn. Queens, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up uh, 211th Street and Broadway. I was the only Jew in an, in an Irish neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, you learned to either run or fight. And then I moved to Queens. But he used I, to paint himself yeah. green. He well, was still running to fight yeah. every once in a while. <laughs> and, That's where uh, the makeup comes in. <laughs> I knew Gene and I would be in a band together because he was the only guy in Queens who was wearing white face and a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. That is true. Boots like this is, you know, it's not your regular 398 Tarmacan special. That's right. Those are 798 Hardys. 798 Hardys. Tell me about your outfits. I mean, do you, did you design your own outfits, all of you? And, yeah. and w tell me what each outfit means. And I'll start with you, Ace. Well, that means a cucumber. I think this outfit is self-explanatory. <laughs> I there mean, you, you know, this is part of a, a, a kind of a V-shape. This is my utility belt, and we don't want to go any below than my uh, waist oh. area because that's reserved for concert players. You know? I, I understand good. that. But, and then uh, and after and it's all over, they say, this, this is I what we came for. for. And that's <laughs> very great. I always feel <laughs> short I, really I stole this from Flash Gordon, and, uh, you know, I have my cape. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you're kind of like a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> On the side. Well, well, listen, I got a little piece of pipe backstage I'd like to have you work on. Tell me about it. Oh, you love it, but I like that. You, 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 you old sweet talker, you. Uh, uh, but I, but I'll tell you, I read in the sheet that they gave me where they said that it's hard to get you out of your shell. It's hard for me yeah, to talk. Yeah, 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 try, try to cheer down. <laughs> that you wanted to go for a ride in the first spaceship or a rocket ship or something uh, like that. You, you, are you referring to the space shuttle? The space shuttle that you yes, wanted. Yes, I would prefer to have a ride on the first space shuttle if it's <laughs> feasibly possible. I was speaking to Pat, and I said, you got any info, uh, any... Uh, Secret me, ambitions. See if you can get me a ticket on that. I'd be very interested in that because I'm into a technology. I think Ace doesn't need anything. I think he can just <laughs> power himself. Up, you know? <laughs> like, you know, His Ace, own power. Ace's limo just shh. Ace right up there. <laughs> I'm in your band. Never a dull moment. Let me tell you something about Ace. When we were first starting out, we had a, a Mylar 
uh, front to the <laughs> bass drum. We would play these clubs, and we're still trying to figure out who it is that we are, what it is that we're trying to put across. And, I thought, <laughs> and Ace, <laughs> Ace <laughs> ultimately, uh, Ace, <laughs> yeah, look, look at me. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Ace, <laughs> Ace ultimately would look into the mylar and start laughing at himself. <laughs> and I thought he liked me, Kevin. Uh, having a rotten time, right, Tom? I'm having a, a, an awful time. <laughs> take, you know, take it easy. It'll get better. <laughs> we'll hope so. We will uh, we'll regroup here for a couple of minutes, and we'll continue with Kiss after these words from the NBC television station, Coast to Coast. <laughs>